a real chess player's strength can be recognized and measured with different things. One of them is opening theory knowledge, tactics, uh, pattern recognition, visualization. In today's video, I'm going to show you a puzzle that is estimated to show, or it's supposed to, sorry, I should say, to show how good you are in chess. But it's not none of the ones I already mentioned. It's not opening theory, it's not tactics, it's not pattern recognition, it's not visualization. It's something else that we still don't know. And yeah, let's take a look at it. This is the puzzle's position. We have a white knight on h8, we have a black queen on d5. Your job is to get the knight through all 64 squares of the board, right to left, top to bottom, without getting taken by the queen. So for example, you would think this would be the first square to go to, but the queen is attacking that. So that's cancelled. It's the same for d8, it's the same for a8. The first square we'd have to go to is f8. Um, so let's say you go 1, 2. The next square is e8. You go 1, 2. We skip this one, it's attacked by the queen. So we'd have to go something like this 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 and so on very important you can't take the queen so for example here this would defeat the whole point of the puzzle so you can't take the queen this would be the next one this is cancelled because it's attacked by the queen and then you start all, all over from right to left until you get to a1 when you get to a1 you've solved the puzzle now before you try this i have some important things to say before you start you should time yourself why well the real reason why I'm showing this is because, according to Grandmaster Ben Feingold, if you, if you finish this in less than 5 minutes, then it's estimated, according, according to uh, people that uh, gave him this puzzle, it's estimated that you're going to be a good chess player. And as I was saying at the beginning of the video, this is not something that we can measure with, with something like memory or, or opening theory or tactics pattern recognition. It seems to be... Um, beyond that and um i mean i'm not i i i i would be lying if i told you that i understood this part of the brain or this part of chess in general but uh yeah i wanted to show you because it was something interesting it's a fun puzzle and you should give it a try maybe you get in less than five minutes maybe you get in two minutes let me know what, what what's your best time and if you think that it improved your pattern recognition or something like that that would be it for today it's a short one i wanted to share um and yeah let me know what you think Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.